This is a patient who had a recent procedure and they were worried about a uh, hematoma. And so we ended up getting a CAT scan with intravenous contrast. And we could see quite immediately uh, in the retroperitoneal space on the left, a large collection. There's a fluid hematocrit level within it. And look how it's displaced in the left kidney and other structures anteriorly and towards the midline. It goes all the way down along the left retroperitoneal fascial planes to the pelvis. And so this is compatible with a large retroperitoneal hematoma. And within this hematoma, we can see that there are layering regions of more hyperdense content. And uh, right around there and over here, and so these findings are concerning for active extravasation of contrast. And so our interventional radiology colleagues were called in to see if they could embolize something in this patient. And this was uh, a part of the study that they performed. We can see the angiogram that they, uh, that they performed. And when they injected contrast, you can see immediately there's active extravasation of contrast from these distal branches arising from the lumbar arteries at L2 and L3. And so that was the source of the bleed patient supplement got embolized uh, and uh, the active extravasation was treated.